So here we are, we're going to set up the end points and the trim on the front locking diff and the rear locking diff. Now for the front servo, I did have to reverse it because I like my servos to show the positive 100 versus a negative 100 when it's locked. I mean, that's just personal preference. So we're gonna go into the end point and we're gonna to go to channel four. See my settings right here. So that's the way these lockers are designed, it pulls the cable and that's when you get the lock. So when it goes in, that's gonna be the open where you get the open differential action. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the open on it and we're gonna turn this up and you just kind of watch the servo before it goes into bind you want it right about the point where it goes into bind right there you don't really want it to bind these springs really help out a lot but when you want to open you don't want it to be so close it's actually bouncing off the teeth inside the, the locking mechanism so now we're in for the locker and we're going to turn this up basically watch for the same thing now if you notice it's in a little bit of a bind right there watch this see that a little bit of rotation allowed that to lock in and that's why you want these to start in neutral the neutral servo position as close to the open as you can that way you turn the truck on you're not paying attention talking to your buddies meanwhile the servo is here under bind burning up don't want that so here we are, we're gonna turn this up a little bit, get full engagement. Yeah, we're gonna get this. It's like about right there. Fully open, fully locked. You can see it right, right there is under bind. There, fully locked, no bind on the servo. I'm gonna bump it up two numbers all right now we're going to get out of this now I'm going to set the when you turn the radio off and back on it goes into the neutral position sometimes this can actually be really close and you don't want it to be so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the trim to get to channels three, four, five, six, and seven, eight, you have to long press on the trim button. That puts you, or long press to enter on the trim button. That puts you into the sub trims. Long press, here we go. There's channel four. Now basically, I'm just gonna turn this knob one way or the other until the servo is all the way as far open as I can get it. So that way when I turn the radio off and back on, it's going to be there. I can go fully locked right there. Turn the radio off. This would simulate turning the radio and the whole system back on. There you go. You know you got a full open. You can get a little more open right there, which I would recommend you take the time to do. Um, but even if you don't, you're still okay and then there's full lock there you are now I'm gonna do the exact same procedure with the rear now let's go ahead and take care of the rear the rear is channel 5 I did not have to reverse channel 5 to get the correct orientation where you get the 100 but anyway let's go with the endpoints there's five and the way this particular radio <coughs> switches back and forth from one side or the other on the servo I actually have to use the throttle so that's how I'm actually getting it to go some of these radios when you hack them you can do it up here on these two buttons but uh, on this particular one I've got to use the trigger so we're gonna go fully open looks like about 43 should get that and then fully locked I'm going to turn this on up there 
is a bind. Get it engaged. And I think we're pretty much good to go with 84. All right. Wide open. All right, now the same thing that we did with the front servo, we're also gonna do with the rear. This way, it's a little bit of added insurance on the rear. Just go all the way. That way it's open as far as it can go and push in. And uh, with that, front locker is already locked. Rear locker, or open the front end, locked. Rear is open, fully locked. All right, now we're gonna set the shift servo. And I did have to reverse this so I could get high range forward and low range back. Again, that's personal preference. So, we are going to go ahead and set some endpoints here. All right, there we go. Let's see, turn this one up. See, there's the bind I was talking about. See how it clicked in? That would be your servo burning up while you're talking to your buddies I've been talking about. And that is second gear. Let's see here. See, 20% is about right where this had to be. Seems to be looking pretty good. Now we're going to exit out of that. Now let's see. High speed, low speed. That fits pretty good. Now we're going to actually, we're going to turn the radio off. Turn the radio back on. That way I know we're in neutral. And long press. Now we come up to channel 6. And we make our adjustments. I'm gonna go all the way that way and see where we are. That feels like a nice smooth neutral. So and that's at negative 99. That's where it is, so be it. Alright, so now we're gonna shift high speed. What we've got here is a change on the throw. So this is why you verify everything multiple times. Turn this up a little bit. Looks like about 40 is where it needs to be. The sub trim seemed to adjust the servo settings just a little bit. Then again, this is why we verify. There we go. Now, radio off, radio back on. I've got a nice clean neutral. Let's go for high speed. Here we go, low speed. And with that, those are your shift servos adjusted and ready to go.